Needed for Dotty's jumble sale, all proceeds to the church fund, first rate quality items required, no tatty old junk. Yes, thank you, Richard. We can uh, read, you know. Have we got any quality items? No, we've got plenty of tatty old junk. <laughs> what? You're going to see what you can find in the attic. Yeah. Hey, good thinking. Attics are great places for jumble. Mm. Old clothes always go down well at jumble sales. Yeah, I've got loads of old clothes buried at the back of my wardrobe. Great. Let's go and see what we can find. OK, cool. Right, I'll stay here and man the desk. Oh, hello, Scampy. Uh, why are you dressed like that? You've been painting. Cool. I didn't know he was a painter. <laughs> what? It's your new hobby. Oh, I see. Well, I hope it keeps you out of mischief. <laughs> what? You'd like to paint me? I'm just the kind of subject you've been looking for. Oh, oh, oh. well, I suppose I do have a certain sort of noble demeanour. <laughs> Go on, then. <laughs> Ready when you are. What are you waiting for? You're just getting into the right artistic mood. Well, don't take too long about it, Scampy. Otherwise, I'm liable to... Oh, drop off. you've made of me. Not yet. Oh, I see. It's a surprise, isn't it? <laughs> I'll definitely be surprised when I see what you've painted. Oh, great. I love surprises. <laughs> Never felt better. In fact, Scampy has just painted me. You know? How do you know? It's written all over my face. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Look, stop messing about. Now, come on. Have you found any good jumble? Oh, wow! I was wondering where that had got to. You found it first? Oh, well, Sooty thinks you didn't. <laughs> Hang on. Look, it doesn't matter, does it, who found it first. The point is, this is my umbrella and it's far too useful to give away. Hmm. Now, what else have you found? A box. Oh. Sweep! Sweep! That is Sooty's magic box. Now, he needs that. Sooty's found something worth getting rid of. <laughs> That's yours. Sooty, please, you do. Sooty, listen. That sweet bone. You can't give that away. I know he tried to give away your magic box. Look, I think it's time we stop squabbling, you guys. Look, I tell you what. Sooty and I will sort this lot out. A new sweep. Go and see if the morning post has arrived. OK? Good. <laughs> Right then, Sooty, come on, let's have a look. There must be something up here we don't need anymore. Huh? Oh, that! <laughs> what a ghastly painting! Yuck! Looks like somebody's just thrown paint at the canvas. That can definitely go. Ah, here's Sweep seeing what's in the post. Phone bill. Gas bill. 
Water bill. Electric bill. Now this makes no sense to sweep at all. Who's Bill? He wondered. And why are we getting all his letters? <laughs> oh dear, what a sausage brain. He thinks that Bill's a person. Ah, now this looks more interesting. A postcard. Greetings from Brazil. I'm looking forward to seeing you when I arrive in England. Your ever-loving Auntie Juanita. Now Sweep is really confused. <laughs> I haven't got an Auntie Juanita, he says. <laughs> this must be for Bill as well. He decides to put the letters somewhere very safe till he's got time to take them back to the post office. What do you think? It's a bit tatty. It's supposed to be tatty. Tatty was all the rage then. No, I couldn't possibly give this away. Well, we've got to give Dotty something. Oh, I've forgotten about this. Yeah, who gave you that? My auntie Juanita. I've never seen you wear it. Can you blame me? Look. Mm, I see what you mean. Yeah, auntie Juanita's been knitting jumpers for 30 years, but she still hasn't got the hang of it, bless her. No, she'll never know. This can definitely go. Oh, dear. I hope we can convince Dotty that this jumper and that painting aren't a load of old rubbish. Hi there, everyone! <laughs> what? Nothing. Why is everybody laughing at me this morning? No reason. You're all jealous. Oh, yes, yeah. that's what it is, because I've had my portrait painted by Scampi. <laughs> I can't wait till I see it. <laughs> you can't wait till I see it either? <laughs> It's very hurtful, you know. <laughs> At least you're putting on a brave face. <laughs> Hi there. Oh. Hello, Hello Dotty. Richard. What? Did you know that no. you got... What? He doesn't know. Oh, I see. <laughs> Mum's the word, eh? <laughs> you lot are all Dotty. Did you know that? No, 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 no. I'm Dotty. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you've got me some good quality items for my jumble sale. Only the best for you, Dotty. Dinner! Oh, mm. Don't you like it? It's the fashion nowadays. Looks like a badly knitted, multicoloured monstrosity to me. Anyway, uh, what else have you got? A picture? What are all those streaks and splashes? Oh, no, we don't like streaks and splashes round here. Are you sure you're not trying to fob me off with a pile of old junk? <laughs> As if we do a thing like that. <laughs> oh, how can you think such a thing? No, oh, very well, then I'll take it. Right, I'll give you a hand loading it into the car. Good. Thank you, Richard. Hmm. See you later. Bye. You know, I wonder where that awful old painting came from. without a quick visit to my favourite oh. niece. <laughs> oh, Richard, Richard, meet my auntie Juanita. Oh, oh, how do you do? What a peculiar young man. Peculiar? How do you mean? Uh, auntie, do you like my jacket? It makes you look like a football hooligan. Why don't you put on that nice jumper I needed you for Christmas? Ah, that might be a problem. It better not be a problem. It took me six months to knit that jumper. Now I'm here, I want to make sure it fits properly. So come on, where is it? It's, um... Go in the wash. Walk. Go on for a walk. Uh, to the laundrette. For a wash. But jumpers can't walk. Oh, it's true, believe me. Why should I believe a man who wears a moustache and beard painted on his face? <laughs> a what? See for yourself if you don't believe me. <gasps> <gasps> no, I know what you've been laughing at all morning. <laughs> oh, you wait till I get my hands on that scampi. Scampi! Scampi! So? Yeah. Where is the jumper? You haven't thrown it away, have you? Of course not! Haven't we? No, we'll go and fetch it. Wait here. <coughs> ah, what's this? 
Sweep reading a book? Now that's not something you see very often. What are you reading? asked Sooty. It's a book of Australian art, said Sweep, showing Sooty the book. This isn't about Australian art, said Sooty. Then why is all the writing upside down? asked Sweep. The whole book is upside down, explained Sooty. And he turned the book around so that Sweep could look at it properly. Look, cried Sweep, pointing at a picture. I've seen that painting somewhere before, said Sooty. So have I, said Sweep. But neither of them could quite remember where. They stared at the picture, puzzled and thinking, until... That painting's just like the one we gave to Dotty, said Sooty. It must be by the same artist. Is it? asked Sweep. I think so, said Sooty. But we could do with an expert opinion, just to make sure. Luckily for them, an expert opinion was just about to walk through the door. <sighs> Have either of you two seen Scampy? <coughs> look, look at what? I'm sorry, Sweep, I haven't got time to look at picture books. I'm on the warpath. Does this painting look familiar? Yes, it's a picture of the painting we gave to Dotty. Hang on a minute. What is the painting from the attic doing in... <gasps> the art of Jackson Pollock! <laughs> What's wrong? This painting was painted by Jackson Pollock! <laughs> What's a Pollock? He is! It's his name! Jackson Pollock! He was a world-famous American artist! And his paintings are worth millions of pounds! We've given away a priceless masterpiece! <laughs> what? We could buy it back. Good thinking. <laughs> we haven't got millions of pounds. I know, sweet, but only we know what it's really worth. I bet Dotty would sell it back to us for five pounds. Hey, that jumble sale's just starting. Sooty, you better get down there quickly before somebody else snaps it up. Oh, oh, Sue, how are we supposed to find a jumper that we don't have? Mm, that's a good question. Liana? And we need a good answer. What are you doing in there? Um, won't be a minute, Auntie. It's no good. I'll have to come clean and face the consequences. But you'll be really upset if you tell her that you've given the jumper away. Have you got a better idea? Yes! Wait a minute. What time is it? Two o'clock. Aha! Uh -huh. The jumble sale's just starting. Now, I'll go down to the village hall and buy the jumper back. Sue, you're a genius! While you stay here and pretend that you're looking for it. Liana, I'm still waiting. Don't be too long. I'll be as quick as I can. The jumper! Oh, yes. Do you think it suits me? I decided it was time I got with it. I thought, good idea, Dotty. So, I bought it myself. How much did you pay for it? Two pounds. I'll give you three. Sue, what are you talking about? You gave this away free this morning. OK, five. Have you gone completely mad? All right, ten pounds. That's my final offer. Let me get this straight. You want to pay me ten pounds for a jumper that you gave away for free this morning? In a word, yes. Oh, please, Dotty. There isn't time to explain, but I have to have it. Well, I suppose if it's that important to you, Sue... How much is this? You can have it for five pounds, sir. Five pounds? I'll take it. No, 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 what do you think you're doing? That's mine. But give it here, I say. Sooty, what are you doing here? Really? I'm sorry, sir. This painting is not for sale. Oh, yes, it is. I've just bought it. He's right, you know, Sue. You heard me sell it to him. Five pounds, I think we said. We'll give you ten. Oh, an auction, is it? Oh, I do love auctions. I bid twenty pounds. Twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty-five. Forty. Forty-five. Fifty. Have you two gone completely mad? Fifty-five. Sixty. Sixty-five. Seventy. Seventy-five. Eighty. Eighty-five. Ninety. Ah, Scampy, I want a word with you. Scampy? Hey, what's the matter? Why are you crying? Huh? Someone's stolen your painting? Do you mean the one that was over there? You painted that? 
Oh, Scampy. We thought it was a Jackson Pollock. <sighs> Don't worry. Don't cry. Come on. We'll get your painting back. Thought he should be back by now. Hope nothing's gone wrong. One thousand! One thousand! That's right. We bid one thousand pounds. You know I can't match that. Yes! Aha! The painting is ours. Ah! What's wrong? I've just remembered. We haven't got a thousand pounds. Ah, charlatans. Since they cannot honour the bid, I take it this is rightfully mine. Um, yes, I suppose it is. And the original price we agreed upon was five pounds, wasn't it? Yes, I suppose it was. Excellent. You know, high art isn't for the likes of you. You should leave that sort of thing to the experts. Hi there. Hey, did you get the painting? Someone beat you to it. Oh, but we must get it back. We don't need to be rich anyway. No, so you don't understand. It wasn't a real Jackson Pollock. Scampy painted it. You mean there's a famous painter called Scampy? What a coincidence! No, Sue, our Scampy. He's going to be ever so upset if we don't get it back for him. Now, who bought it? That gentleman over there. Right, come on. <sighs> fake? This painting is the fake. I know a Jackson Pollock when I see one. But it's only a copy. It's not real. Yeah, it was only painted this morning. Nonsense. <laughs> if it was painted this morning, the paint would still be wet. Hmm? It... <gasps> oh, my shoot! Oh. <laughs> this is a disaster! Oh, it is a washout! I don't mean the suit. How oh. will I ever show my face in London again when they find out I paid good money for a worthless imitation? Well, it may be a worthless imitation to you, but it means a lot to our friend Scampy. Mm. Then please have it. Oh. It's all yours. Oh, thank you! Oh, no, no, thank you. You've saved me from utter humiliation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Brilliant, we've got Scampy's painting back. Yes, and Liana will be... Ah! What? I forgot. Liana needs this jumper, and now! Where is the jumper? Oh, dear. I suppose you're bound to find out sooner or later. Find out what? I don't want to lie to you, Auntie. It's not that I didn't like the jumper. I, I did. It's just that, well, Dotty came round with this poster and... Well, we all agreed it was a good cause, and... Oh, I hope you're not saying what I think you are saying. Liana! 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 I found it! At last! You had me worried there for a minute, Liana. <laughs> you're not the only one. Phew! There we are. What do you think? Well, it's, um... Different? Yes, really different. What, Scampy? Do we like it? No, we do not like it, Scampy. We love it! <laughs> yes, it really brightens the place up. Well done, Scampy! <laughs> oh! You better not keep your taxi waiting, you'll miss your plane. I'm so glad you found the jumper. You look wonderful, my dear. Oh. Simply wonderful. Oh, Auntie, I'll treasure this jumper forever. Good, because I've knitted you these as well. Matching gloves and hat. Oh, Auntie, you should have. Nothing's too good for you, my dear. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, oh, Auntie. Goodbye, Auntie Lisa. Oh, what a lovely Auntie Liana. Oh. Pity about her fashion sense, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see everyone's happy again. Well, almost everybody. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> everybody. Bye-bye.